everybody, I'm Cinnamon Cooney. I am your art Sherpa, and today we're at the last leg of this month's big art quest. We're coming to the end. We can kind of see where I was going in my head. Many of you have been painting along with me, and we're going to continue that today with my husband, John, on the mic. Hi, guys. He's going to be tracking me with cameras, making sure that if you've got questions, that we do our best to answer them during the live show. Everything here is going to be uh, available for replay. So if you're here on the replay, yay! Hi! It's good It's good to work. <laughs> um, today's time was a little bit crazy, and that was a weird thing I've got going on with my dashboard. I have to figure out. It's, um, it's definitely been an interesting thing where it uh, gives me a new time, kind of like a time roulette. <laughs> That's right. It's, it's randomized time. <laughs> so we've been kind of into it. We're going to just wrap her up today. I'm so excited. Uh, I took a lot of flack for her. So I am Ooh. almost like at this point, like determined that she will be done. And for everybody who came in with the support about the deer makeup and the deer face. And we're like, no, I get it. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for showing the makeups and everything in group. It like kept me going because I was getting some real crazy feedback. Oh, no, they're loving it. Woo! They're totally behind you on this. Thank you so much. It has meant the world because I was like, I feel like this is a good idea. And I've committed to doing it for years. So <laughs> I hope it's a good idea. Hopefully, if you're brand new here and you don't know what we're doing, the references are for lighting and art information only. We try to create like these kind of more original pieces right now in the quest. And so we're changing it up. We're putting ourselves into it. We're not being, you know, tied, chained to the reference photo. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put out some color. To, uh, if you're brand new here. You this mean this reference photo? That one. This Yes, she's a beautiful girl. It's, yeah. I'm not saying that she needed to be a deer to be more beautiful. I just felt that. That was the fairy tale story I felt like telling. You just wanted to modify. I, I did. Sherpify. I wanted to modify. You <laughs> Sherpified her. I Sherpified her. She turned into a Sherpa girl. I'm going to put out some paint. You can see all the colors that we use for this project in the description below. Um, I'm pretty pumped. Did I not have uh, any cad yellow, John? Yeah, I put it out there. No. It's no, I have any yellow. Escapade. It escapade. It escapade? It did. It, it, it got up on its own and left because I don't think I want that paint. I'm sure. With Dory. <laughs> With Dory. All right, here's some yellow. I'm wor Oh, it's all squished in not a good way. Do you see this squish? <laughs> okay, don't do this to your tube of paint. That's a super big waste of money. Do you see what's happened here? I don't know how that happened. I don't either, but this is very bad. It got squished. Oh, my gosh. And it's so easy for the tube then to crack. I'm going to let John do this. I'll do that. I'll reform Yeah. It. So what I have to do is very safely kind of reshape it to its tube form because in areas like this, these can crack when they're metal. Little it's thing you might not know that can get you. I'm going to put out some titanium white and some zinc white and a couple other colors. And then we're going to start putting some flowers and some leaves and some joy. Got to be careful how you squeeze. I do. I have to be careful how I squeeze. I'm not saying I'm a good squeezer. I'm just saying that um, I'm a little shaking today, babe. I got to tell you. Well, you're my main squeeze. You're my main squeeze. Don't I, worry about it. I know. I'm trying not to, babe. I would try not to. I had a really weird, like, you take too long to, like, get to it. And then I'm like, now I'm taking too long to get to it. And now I'm being, like, self-conscious about getting <laughs> to it. And I can't stop it. And now I'm going to go find wait, that wait. commenter and be like, hey. I got I to gotta go run, look in the camera. Guess what? What? This is your show. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing this. Taking it left and right. Now. This is this <laughs> is not anybody else. Watch me else's. not get this cap on. Wherever could I be annoying people? But I don't know. No, could it be the caps? See, we don't care because this is now the Sherpa show. It, and if well, they well, don't it was like always it, the Sherpa show. What's YouTube going to take it down? Out. I they, can't get that cap back on. We're going to abandon it. Just <laughs> 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 moving on. We're moving on because now I'm being self-conscious and I'm moving no, on. No, they're with us. They love it. Uh, you have just I can't even open this bird up for today. All right. So what's happened Wait, where is, is where, um where, where is it? Which one do we have somebody to the bad choo choo. <laughs> the bad choo choo's oh, been man, sent my way. Tough. Yeah, it's the bad juju. It's been that's sent our way. That's okay. Oh, it's been put on there like seriously. I'm that's okay. Like, wrench it. 
I got some angels in my outfield. Okay, so sometimes have you ever like felt like, oh, it's me, like my hand just doesn't work today, and then your partner comes by and then opens it as if it's nothing? Okay, I feel like I'm being cuddled right now. It's just kind of nice. I need a cuddle, actually. The cuddle is good. I need a cuddle. Thank you for my cuddle. little hand cuddle so they can see. Hand cuddles. I'm actually getting a hug right now. It's gotten weird. The show just got weird. You don't even know how weird it got. There's this. Sorry, guys. Don't unstop. It's just the day. Everything be fine. All right, I'm just going to put out this number of colors because I feel like that's all I'm going to commit to for right now. <laughs> I have my coffee. <laughs> so flowers is what let's 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 put some flowers in her pretty pretty little antlers oh, i'm gonna get a number two filbert from my red handle line i'm gonna take it to my water i'm gonna dip it in and drag off the extra water and i'm gonna get a little of my green and i'm gonna add some of my burnt sienna loosely to that green can you guys see how i'm doing that kind of deepening that up <laughs> I, I, could, see, you I see everything, though. You see everything. Well, yes, I see. And I'm I'm well, sitting oh. here dealing with it. All right. So I'm going to, to just uh, uh, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. come around. And don't, I don't want to do it don't. everywhere, but a couple places on this. I, I want to add, actually, this sort of weird leaf. Why I do this, you say. Why? Why you do these things? Well, I'm an artist, so that would be the first explanation. <laughs> I love this. Yeah. The antler trees. There's something so very... Um, anime isn't necessarily the right word, because there's also a Northern European sensibility to it. Uh, I, I think that anime tends to capture it a lot. Yeah, that sort of fanciful space that we can all be in. Yeah. Yeah, I think I need a little more of that in my life, that sort of fanciful, imaginative space. This year's Big Art Quest has been personally exciting for me. I guess we don't need her up there right now. Huh? I don't need the picture-in-picture picture right now. Uh, no, because we've gone way, <laughs> <laughs> way a different direction, which is making me think about, like, how I'm doing the rest of the year. Well, you I can see these um, just about, like, you know, your experience. So we've got some little leaves there. I'm not trying to make a whole tree. I just want to make sure that I'm oh. going to have a little greenery here and there. And see, the brush strokes are very loose and open. I'm not trying to make, like, super yeah. awesome, epic, photorealistic leaves. Rain Panda nailed it. This is very druid-like. Yeah, that's it. Just this sort of sense of earth and connectivity. So, I mean, keep in mind, like, I'm approaching this sort of princess, and I, I, I definitely am approaching it with Western eyes, right, for sure. And how I, you know how, like, we now kind of can be in each other's worlds because our movies and our commercials and our memes just travel all over the world and influence each other? The memes, they travel. So if you're like, it's as if she's watched every super sappy Bally, uh, Bollywood romantic musical. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is exactly like that. I cry exactly. in Bollywood movies. They're so good. Also, there's just not enough marigolds in regular life, in my opinion. When I go to the Renaissance Festival, I actually, that's why I'm excited about all the marigolds. Seriously, flowers you can eat. Yeah. Like, I love that. And, like, the movie's <laughs> like, I decorate with these, and I'm going to eat some of these. I'm like, I want to also eat that flower. I was like, that was just that one for me. Yeah? Yeah. Well, because yeah. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of Ferdinand. And then, you know, kind of like I like the flower and, you know, just generally that stuff. And I'm uh, since I became vegetarian, I was like, oh, flowers that I can eat. That's very yummy and awesome. Actually, you should flowers should not like you then because you you eat them. No, see, that's 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 not it at all. See, that's they, not it at all. I think that's kind of it. John. No, the plants develop the flower to attract the animals so that they can spread the the the, the, the seeds to grow other places. Well, I'm taking a little of my, because you're talking crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> going to take a little of my phthalo blue to my Indian yellow. That's how it works, It's man. not how it works, Mr. Cooney. <laughs> it's not how any of this works. All right, so I'm going to take, you know what, Mr. Cooney? I'm teaching art here. Shh, I'll, I'll be quiet now. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a little of this phthalo green over to my Indian yellow and 
um, adding a little white to it to brighten it so I have some values because obviously some of these leaves would have a little light on them, wouldn't they? Not all of them, but some would. And I need it to be light enough value where it's sort of popping. Pop, pop. When we add the little flowers, this will be nice. Got a cool shadow, got a warm highlight. People will full on know what we meant. No, they won't. Today, I uh, taught the best tip ever about paint coverage on Facebook. It was epic. If you follow the Facebook page, you saw it. And then um, for reasons I'm still working out, I'm, I'm going with a, a, a hex tray now. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> the appropriate poultry was not sacrificed before I the stream. I feel like I've suddenly found myself in the craft. <laughs> 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 and I ticked off that angry girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm telling you, man, people, they, they think I'm joking. Like I juggle, I, it's like, it is craziness back here trying and to it, engineer a stream. It, it super is guys. It super is. And so like, it, if you saw it, that was so great for you because now you learned a thing. But if you didn't, I'm really sorry. <laughs> now you're just highlighting <sighs> the insides of these. I'm just adding. So if you imagine that the light is dropping a little bit on this, some of these leaves, right, would be quite bright. Oh yeah. That's true. Wouldn't they? Yeah, I, I like how it makes the as the more you do this, it makes the background just appear in that sort of blurry, out of focus kind of, you know. Yeah, focus. the harder she is, like if this is all blurry and then we harden all her edges, what starts to happen is is that she comes into focus and the background starts to feel out of focus. That's focus, exactly focus, what it's doing. Focus, focus. Okay, so here's cool. the best part. Now, guys, you could have cherry blossoms. You could have roses. You can have feathers you can put birds and butterflies it is literally your world go ahead and populate it i'm going to take a little of my magenta and a little of my indian yellow together and grab some of my white so that i can see my color and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to dab don't dab you'll embarrass your daughter Actually, I'm seriously not allowed to do any real dabbing anymore. <laughs> Sorry, that's a, the dabbing is a dance move for everyone who's not 13. Well, it was for them, but then we went and ruined it. <laughs> <Right. laughs> <laughs> kind of like every other cool dance that kids have ever invented. So see, I'm starting to add a bit of these like bright pinks here. And I'm just doing these little kind of dabbed flowers is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a, a cool value and kind of a bright warm value. And that just adds a little, you're just adding a little white there to that? Yeah, I just added a little white. A little too much, but it's okay because I'm going to come back with, you know, my stuff. I'm just trying to give this um, some flowers because I want it to have flowers because that's what spring means to me. And you'll notice like sometimes I put the flowers like out. So this is kind of like a spring magnolia for me. It is the direction that I am going. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little white, if we do, to these. Not all of it, because I want some dark pink, right? I'm just picking up the highlights of what I could have. What could you have? You could have some of this. See how we do? Just a little bit of a little highlight. So now her branch is starting to flower. Having a light hand can be so hard in art. can be so hard. Can't it? A little of my Indian yellow. Okay, the fact that this paint color actually comes from India has not, like, escaped me, like, that that's kind of funny. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, because Indian yellow is from India, because oh, yeah. that's where that color it was imported in from the bison that ate the buff. Not like American bison. Well, that's where it's got its name, though. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. Not, not from the North American content, but actually from India, because that's where the paint color used to come from. Now we don't collect pee anymore. There's some people who might, but we don't. Uh, uh, what I would say is that, that the acrylic paint companies do not collect the pee, as far as I know. As far as we know. <laughs> and I will full-on report to you if I ever discover that one of the acrylic painting companies is collecting the pee. Because that would know be super anyone, interesting on more levels than you will want to know. Yeah, and if you know anyone who is making authentic, historically accurate acrylic <laughs> Indian yellow, I, which would not, it's a contradiction. There's no such thing as historically accurate acrylic Indian yellow because, you know, 
Yeah, because it's a new but paint. But it would be, if you do know some artisan who's doing such, I will. We will get the Sherpa to paint with it. Well, it's so interesting because that's like that's new. Th- the new hot, hot, hotness is to make your own paint. And so then, of course, the acrylic artists are like, I don't want to be left behind like the oil artist. But you know what? You need to be able to mill everything four times, and not every pigment wants to be in a polymer. Okay. So I'm adding this white highlight. Sorry. It's okay. I don't know why you're apologizing. You didn't do anything wrong. You I just feel like I distracted you. <laughs> look, I would be distracted by a little rainbow on the ground. So let's, you know, Squirrel. let's not get it twisted here, right? <laughs> We all know I could just wander off in the middle of a show. You're untethered now. I'm untethered. It could happen. So I'm just adding these different little flowers, and I'm trying to make sure that they have some tonality and that they're looking kind of lovely on the canvas, and she's got that going. Now, I thought I would like some flowers across here, and then I want to do some feathers and some things. And so to do that, I am going to have to put out my Mars Black, which I know you put out, right, right, right? Nope. Nope, nope, I'm going to put out this black paint. <gasps> this is uh, actually carbon black, but you can just use Mars black. This is just what's on my palette right now. So I'm, It was that or black a gesso. So I'm going to do my brown and black together. And I just have to make sure that I've got the top of her head um, painted in, because if I don't, then it will not look like I knew what I was doing. I'm not saying I do know what I'm doing. I'm just saying that I'm going to put a little of this in so that when I come to add the little flowers up here, girlfriend's got a head of hair. Because she wouldn't understand it if I took all of her hair away. She'd be like, what was that about? And as, and as you're doing that, it's making that her come sharper and sharper in focus there with those lines. Yeah, it there. does. It just it just brings us all into focus, and I can start really talking about like the the High line contract. of the hair. I'm not going to do too many flyaways up here. I want it to sort of be neat. Chances are, chances are that like a lot of this is going to be just covered, and I just need to have that dark underneath. But just in case it's a whole event. I'm going to get my black and brown mix, and I'm going to put it into my Indian yellow. I'm going to get my zinc white. Usually, I do this with a blue, right? But this time, we're going to do this with a warm highlight. That's at the top of the hair. See, because hair is like, when it's healthy and shiny, it would be reflective. Right? I don't yeah. know. I'm sorry, guys. I just learned that somebody has 28 million followers, and they had a live with a million concurrent. Oh, yeah. That was the gaming channel we just saw. Broke our brain on DeFranco. We're like, everyone, like, next person is like, chat's really going fast. No, it's not a million followers. We are chill. We're this kind is of a, a chill chat. We're a different show, for sure. Now, I think we could get to, I think we could pull off a quarter million concurrent live viewers. I think we could do it. I think we can do that. What do you guys think? We can. <laughs> we gotta we gotta like work way up to it, but we'll get there. We're gonna get there. All right, I'm gonna add a little of the yellow and the zinc together for just this final highlight. So you can see that I sort of blended it in. And then I'm gonna come here and just make sure that her hair is, you know, got that. It's a very blended thing. Isn't that interesting how that does the hair? Yeah. But she's not blonde in any way, and I don't want her to be blonde in any way. I just want it to seem like, so dark hair has either these warm undertones or cool undertones. I'm just giving her warm undertones. That's all I'm doing. All right. Once I have that in, I should be able to safely put in my flowers across the her brow. Um, but I may want to add some weird little ribbons and things. I thought it'd be fun to have like ribbons and stuff hanging from the tree branch. I'm thinking about that. It's also could be fun to have a few little butterflies going about, 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 right? About. About. Butterflies could be out in the boat. So you could like literally take a little of your black and your blue. This is going to so fast. I know. I can't. And I'm, I'm like, even like. We're even like, you're like only 20 minutes into this. I'm going to come and give this. See this little butterfly wing here? These slow butterflies. Right. And then I'm going to imply a little butterfly wing there. 
And maybe we could have another little butterfly like right here. Little butterfly wing. And that one can be in a little bit of a forced perspective. We're going to do blue, blue butterflies because, you know, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you do a blue butterfly? That's a, maybe we could perch one right here. And uh, have one just flying here. So if you're familiar with the wings, they kind of come in. Right? And then they have the little round bottom, but you can go online and look, right, for different butterfly shapes. So don't feel like you can't see different little butterfly shapes as you're wanting to. Now I can get my blue and I can get my zinc and notice how that keeps it, it brightens it so I can see it, but it doesn't give me like the white, white blue and so I can come right here. And just add a little bit of that inside the wing. A little brighter butterfly wing. To get the bright, bright blue, I'm going to have to do the titanium white. And it's weird how it's such a brighter blue, but it is. And we're going to just make sure that we've got... I'm just touching a little bit of this here so that there's a little bit of the blue. See? Now we've got some little blue butterflies that are flying around as they should be. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, make sure that there's a little blue, little black center body. I'm always having to watch my hand because I drag paint. Not nice, but just like a little bit of that in there. And then they're feeling like, oh, look, I'm like very bright and blue little butterflies are just floating around. Now I'm going to take maybe my purple and my magenta together. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to do some type of bull flower. And so what I'm saying when I say a bull flower is it's a flower who makes a basic shape like a bull. You know, lotuses can be like that, um, flower, like roses can be like that. And so everything that's happening in that flower, right, that will feel like a bowl. And I'm going to maybe do another one right here. And once I have the dark in, I can go and get my magenta on there and get right into my titanium white. See how I'm doing? And one of the fun things is in the center, I can come make these little dashes. And then as I come around in the big outer area, see how I do that to create shape. It's really crazy how that works. You're just outlining the tips of the petals. See how we do? And now we have these cute little kind of bull. Hey, babe, we have these cute kind of little bull flowers. Wrong, wrong cut. Wrong cut? I was on the wrong, I was on the, oh, the wrong button. The wrong button. Wrong cut. You know, when I cut one in camera. You know, I'm and it's just fun. I'm going to put, uh, maybe I'm going to give myself some little uh, blue flowers here. And I will just do little dashes. These will be like a little blue. Uh, pick out a little blue petal that's coming out there. And maybe like right here. I'm going to rinse real big. And I'm going to grab a little of my Indian yellow and just a smidge of my pink. And a lot of my zinc. Hopefully it'll be enough. I'm going to just make sure that this is lit up a little bit in the inside. Take some of these lighter little petals around. I know this is like kind of crazy, but look, we're just making these little values, right? We're just talking about these little things around there. Now 
Now we can make this really cool dangly bit. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to actually have a blast today using my, this was in the list, gold iridescent fine paint. I'm going to tip it right here. And I'm going to come to the center area. I'm going to bring this around like it's coming down a little bit. Her forehead. Maybe there'll be little bits of gold around these flowers. Another kind of fun thing that you can do is you can put a little of the gold up into the tree branches. Is that crazy? but it'll make them feel like a little bit special. With my black paint and my gold paint, interestingly enough, mixed together, I can make a nice little drop shadow under her chain so that it's gonna show better. And right here, I'm gonna drop like a little pendant and we're going to build up on that. So I did use gold paint, but I still have to shade, right? I still have to show that so that outside of the reflectiveness of the paint, I'm seeing the form. When that's dry, I can put a bright little gemstone right there in the center. Hmm. I like the idea of the little gemstone there. I do too. So I'm going to take my blue and my green paint together and I'm going to come here and paint like a peacock feather I'm going to start with just this outer little area I'm going to even make a little ribbon that goes down. So now I've got a little ribbon that goes down. I've got the basis of a peacock feather. I'm going to wipe off my brush. I'm going to get right into my zinc. In a couple places, I'm going to highlight my ribbon. Oh, that looks neat. So it has some, some highlight on it. If I've got to get right into my white here. You don't want to highlight all the ribbon, right? That would not be good. I'm going to get right into my green. Go ahead and get right into your yellow here so you can really, really see it. Sometimes I'll pull into the titanium white. And I'm going to just make sure that I'm painting out my peacock feather. See how we're doing? I'll go, go right back into my blue because I really need it to be the green and blue coming around. And these are the outer weird guard feathers. So when you're painting these, because they're so identifiable, you've just got to get the basic idea of them down and people will really know what you meant. When that's dry, I can put the eye in there and everyone will go, it's a peacock feather. <laughs> it's so funny how that'll happen, but it's super, super true. So you could do little birds here. You've got your butterflies. Now, while we're letting this dry for a minute, I can take another brush. I'm going to get a number four cat's tongue. And I'm going to start working out some of her cloak and adding some highlights and some details that are going to be peeking out from the plants that are going to be growing all around her. Are you ready for it? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to do this before I do her hair because some of her hair is flowing over her outfit. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little of my magenta over to my thalo blue. And I'm going to paint this strip because this is one of the few things that we see quite clearly. And I may even have to get my glasses on, so I'm really seeing everything in sharp focus. But this blue has really got to show because I've got to create highlights. I've got to create the gold reflection on it. All of that. 
So I'm going to come down here first. This is the dark value of it. We know, and see I'm just carrying that down, we know that we're going to have plants and all kinds of things coming around. So we just have to have the right peak coming through. See how we're doing? And it's just the deepest blue you ever saw. It is. And I'm just painting very carefully around what I've already got. If I have any boo-boo, I take clean water and a clean brush. And before my paint's dry, look what I can do. Oh, yeah. I can erase. Just whoosh. So try not to panic if you can avoid it. <laughs> if you can. If you can. So I'm pretty happy with that. Right? When I have that, you know, going fairly well, I can always grab a little of my zinc, a little of my purple into it, and we can just highlight right here at the shoulder. See how we're doing? And we have a whole bunch of patterning that we're going to have, but I can come through here and just highlight some of the folds where the fabric is catching the sun, right? See how we're doing? And I'm blending these edges soft. Blending my edges soft. I'm blending this back along this outer edge here. And it's creating some depth and dimension, right? Wow, it really is. It really, really is. And then when we go put the gold on there, we can. Now, I don't even have to rinse my brush off. I can go right into my green because I want to add a little blue to my green, don't I? Mm -hmm. To get this teal. And the first thing I've got to do is my second coat of this deep color because it's so transparent. It is. Now that we're... Just that camera up some more again. And if I have a boo-boo, I go and I fix it. So what you're not seeing me do off camera is I'm wiping my brush each time it disappears onto a towel. This is wicking the moisture out of it so that it becomes sponge-like. I can even go backwards with my finger and that will. Hmm. Ah, so, so, so pretty dark would like me to remind you that there is a dark butterfly on the branch still. <gasps> Thank you. I will catch that little cutie patootie while I'm letting something dry. It's, it, it, it's, it could be the shadow butterfly. It could be. Protecting the darkness. Could be all those things, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little of my blue and my green. Maybe a fell-touched butterfly? Could be a fell-touched butterfly. And uh, you can see at the bottom I'm going to get real vague with my strokes. And that's because I've got so many plants. I just need this to be dark and rich so that when the other strokes are coming up, you know, we're really feeling like... I'm going to get a little of my green and yellow here. And this little section is just going to be a little bit brighter. See how I'm doing? So I did my Indian yellow and my thalo green. It takes a couple coats for this to start to take on the aspect that I really want it to. I'm going to use this green here, this brighter green, because it's more in the sunlight. And then I'm also going to come up the hair. And just make sure that there's a little bit of this green here. Even though the hair is going to be coming down over it, I just want to have it hidden. Put that in there. Yay! All right, so while we've got that there, go ahead and take your green and grab some of your zinc. And we're going to come here to the top of the shoulder and add some of that highlight. 
even coming down here because in a minute we're going to have like all this great gold filigree which is super fun top of this crease is going to be lit you'll start to see the folds and things of stuff as it comes through so I'll take that highlight right here I can come in with a little of my Indian yellow and my zinc and just try to warm the top of that fold again I've got a lot of plants coming over this so there's just some of this that I just have to talk about loosely see how I'm going to just say there's some folded fabric here then bring that brush stroke around and it's going to start to just fold her cloak around her just fold the cloak around her how you doing today babe good how are you i'm just enjoying watching this I don't know. I was, Hopefully, it's an interesting day today. There was some great chat. I will, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a little plug here. I'm going to say if you at home are watching this on the replay and you have not had a chance to watch a live with us, I highly, highly suggest. Well, you know what they have now, babe, is the live chat on the replay. Yeah, so you can go check that out and see just how funny it is. There's been some chat in here. It's just, it just makes me it makes me laugh. Sometimes you'll, you'll just hear me laughing, and that's because I'm, I'm reading the chat and because he's reading the chat. Because I'm reading the chat. I'm going to get my blue onto my brush. And I'm going to just make sure that I've got some nice dark little shadows happening here. Sometimes it's nice to come back and really deepen some of these folds. Even though we know most of it's going to be hidden doesn't mean we don't want to define it somewhat right even though we know we're putting uh, patterns over it we still have to get that in because right here I want to be highly focused on what I'm doing I come right here again too what is that <laughs> what's that my computer making noise <laughs> While this is drying, I'm going to attentively put a little zinc and white on my brush and come up and help Mr. Dark Butterfly find his little space. There he is. Right? He was a little concerned, but now he feels better. And while this is drying, I'm also going to give myself like a little eye in the center. So first, let's take a little of our Indian yellow and maybe our burnt umber. And we're going to, remember, I'm just doing this by memory. <laughs> I'm going to come right here. So I've got that in there. I'm going to get a little of my purple and my pink out. Get my zinc on there. Make sure I've got a little purple to the back of my peacock feather here. A little of that into the feather itself. And then a little of my Indian yellow and my zinc white, I think. Maybe my Indian yellow and my white white, because it's so bright. And I'm going to just tap that in. I'm going to get my green. I've added a little cad yellow to it. Maybe a little of my titanium white. Just so it's bright enough so we can see it and also so it's bright enough where 
when we come here like this. We can add a few of those. I like that. I'm going to take my blue and go hardcore in the center of where I put my shadow. And I'm going to get my white on there and very carefully just tap in a little reflection. It happens on my little gemstone there. Always fun, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to take some of my gold and definitely tap it into my peacock feather. I'm also going to make sure that my little gold lining is everywhere. So there we go. We've got a little gold, a little gold, a little gold. And I'm going to come here onto her shoulder and I'm going to make a pattern. I'm not going to exactly uh, paint because it's, I would need to, if you wanted to exactly paint her fabric pattern, I would suggest you would need to make a bigger canvas. Does that make sense? Yes. Because then you can really, really represent whatever you're seeing. But if you're trying to create the feel of it, then I would be, especially in small spaces like this, my two cents is that you create the texture of the pattern, but don't try to religiously create the pattern. I definitely want to follow the folds of the fabric as I tap this down. I really like this gold on her blue. I hope everybody else likes that. How are you doing? Really good. We're powering through. I know it. It's now, a weird like... day. How's she looking? Let me step back and look at her. We just can't forget the shadow fly. What shadow? No, I already did him. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. I was I was reading chat then when you did the shadow fly. I'm going to go back and look. <gasps> you did. I remember that now. I was distracted and thinking okay. of other things. But I, I did, you know. I can get a little loose here and have it come down. Now, I've got some nice little patterning I might think about on the shoulder where I'm going to maybe be like, oh, there was some filigree. Oh, wow. And I'll think about that maybe a little bit. I'm going to kind of add a little flower thought here. Just enough so that when I put all the plants and flowers up, it feels like you're seeing the pattern of her silk showing through, right? How we diggy dig this. Wow, this is really awesome. I think she's a fun little kid. I think this is, this is, every month has been my favorite month so far. I know. So keep that in mind, though, as I'm going. I'm like, oh, and I love this month, and I love this month. And I'm going to tap in some little flowers, little pattern here and there on okay. her silk, right? So it wasn't just me. Gail, Gail missed it, too. She was like, wait a minute. She did it? And I was like, yep, she did. See, I went up and looked. It's right there. There's the, there's the little butterfly right there. She totally did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fast. It's just fast. So I don't need all the little pattern or just anywhere it might be peeking out. I might add a little bit right here. Right? We're just adding a little bit of those gold bits. Believe it or not, we are nearly done with her. Oh, man. And let me tell you, she was just rehearsal for what's coming next. I know. <laughs> but first, let's give, let's give our girlfriend a little bit of, you know, she needs some plants. She needs some flowers. She's like the goddess of spring and dawn. Mm -hmm. It's like... She's marrying the spring right now. It's a big deal. Yeah, it's got a lot awesome. going on here. It's very, very nice. Mm -hmm. And and like you can see, she's just turning out so nice. She is I actually really dig her. So first, I'm going to take maybe a little of my burnt umber, burnt sienna, 
in my phthalo green, I'm trying to create a very deep, deep, deep sense of that, right? And I'm going to just, from here, I'm going to build up this really tangled, intense section of the plant life. I might even add some blue to that. Man, I'm darkening it up. I don't want to get black in there. Black is going to be like for a couple of things. And the reason I'm doing this is that it's got to dry. I've got to get it in. And so I can kind of start to work this in down at the bottom. See how we're doing? Just, these are just loose strokes. I'm just creating the texture of it, aren't I? This is going to help me have this painting be resolved from the top to the bottom. That's the thing you've got to watch for is, is, is your whole idea considered throughout. It's a thing I think about. That is a thing I think about. A little more brown on this one. But again, I'm just trying, and if you're having trouble getting to the bottom, you can always, right, look at this. Go to the top. Go to the top. Switch it around. Move your canvas, not yourself. But remember, you're, if you have, a, if you, if you have a, an old RoboCam like mine, it moves slow. But I do want it kind of dark down here. While it is dark down here, I am going to get back into, well, maybe I can, I'm going to get a little of my burnt sienna and my black together to start the basis of her very dark hair. I'm going to just keep pulling this down, but maybe now I can, some of that hair, see how some of it is like maybe thinking about exiting? It's a little more wild. So I can paint her hair a little more wild. And we have to get some really gorgeous sunlight in through her dark locks. That's a lot of times how I can determine uh, the undervalue or tone of somebody's hair as I'm looking at it in the sunlight. A lot of times I'll be like, oh, yay. Now I'm going to put my glasses on here. I'm going to take this dark value into her neck because that would all be in deep shadow, right? Very carefully tapping around the hand. I'm sorry if my head's in the way, babe. No, you're good. Am I good? Yep. All right. Just pulling this here. Something interesting I can do is I can take my CAD red light. And I can get my brush super clean. She's really pretty. I like her. I like how it's turned out. I'm going to take a little of my cad red into my burnt umber. And if I need to, I might even get some Indian yellow into it. Because I'm going to be creating a very light moment in the sun with her hair. Let's see if I can catch it. Here on the outer edge. Not all of her hair, just some of it. See how we're doing? Mm-hmm. You can even put a little of that right here. All over here, just some of it is going to have this very, very light. Because we're trying to say 
that she's got some sunlight like caught in her dark hair. Her hair caught the light. Her hair caught the light. Reach out and grab it. We are not trying to say she has highlights in any way. <laughs> That's not our goal. I'm taking my burnt umber and my black and my number two filbert. And I'm going to create some little thoughtful bits of hair coming down. I'm on the toe of my brush. I'm just thinking about things. And I am paying attention. So see now we're starting to get that depth. Right, that we're wanting. One of the things is that can be very easy to, uh, because we all kind of essentially do self portraits, to over make something represent, you know, your life, your culture, when you don't mean to. It's perfectly fine if you mean to, but if you don't mean to, you don't want to do that. And so when we're doing highlights, it's important to remember that we're not adding blonde highlights. We're adding light highlights. This is just the light going through the hair shaft. Does this make sense? I don't know if this. Oh works. yeah, no. Uh, this is great. Right. Everyone thinks this looks like, uh, you know, like like her hair is just glowing. It's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to give it a glow. We're not trying to lighten it in any way. I'm gonna get this cad red. In just a couple places. Again, because I'm not trying to change your hair color. I'm just trying to talk a little bit about that glow. Just a little. Just a little. I feel like because I pulled her hair out this far, I would see a smidge of it. Do I, did I capture the smidge? Let's see. Let's pull back. All right. So we haven't made her look in any way. Oh, yeah. See, it's, it's, it, I, I, I really like when you, when you get about this level on it and you can see right there, Cinnamon. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah, and she, and she looks like she's just got, you know, sunlight in her hair. And that's, yeah. that's what I'm trying to do. Just trying to keep it to be sunlight in her hair. Just where the sunlight would catch it. All right, when I feel like I've got that and I feel like I've got, you know, this other stuff, I can just put the plans in, which is, to be frank, that is the easy, fun part of the painting for me. I hope it is for you, too. <laughs> but, you know, we all have our own journey. Okay, so I'm going to take my green into my yellow here, my Indian yellow, and I'm going to make some interesting little sort of stalks up oh. into this painting. Notice these are just light little lines. You made them bigger than I thought you were. Well, she's got some little flowers that are coming up here. Oh, no, right? That's great. I just was like I was zoomed in. The less I sketch out, the easier it's going to be for me to say, hey, these are little flowers that are happening. It's easier for me to come in. I can come in and darken some of this. And then add, you know, my little highlights that are coming up. I'm just very light and I'm trying to be expressive because these are again going back out of focus a titch, aren't they? As I'm coming forward, I know I've got more light on them. So I can go more yellow. See right here? And I know it seems crazy, but what I'm doing is I'm dashing along and I'm making the plant shapes, I'm trying to avoid catching exact repetitive lines. I'm trying to say, hey, this group here is much more in focus. I'm going to get a little more white on my brush. Because some of these are going to be happening here. I'll put in some leaves now. See, I'm dashing in some leaves. 
to the highlighted leaves. We could have some of these highlighted leaves over here because they could catch some sun, couldn't they? Now I'm going to look at that. Whoops, I'm about to back out of my own room. See, now I'm catching a little bit of sun. All right, I'm going to get right into my green. And it's so weird, but you never stop to think to like maybe add a little of your cad red light to your green. But it's going to give you some deep color here, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. I'm going to add a few little brush strokes of that. But that's like kind of like it's like browned out in this deep shadow. So now that's helping blend. So this is stuff that is was dry, but is getting warmer. And now I'm going to come and just get right into my green. And it's so bright and crazily saturated. The chroma on this is intense. So that creates another little layer. I may even pull this over because I don't want this area to be unconsidered. I want it to be totally considered. Right? I just want it to be bright and cheerful. I'm going to add a little of my cad yellow to my green. Nope. <laughs> Jeremy, nope. <laughs> yep. I'm going to get the burnt sand into it because what's wrong with it is it's just too saturated for this space. It just needs to be knocked back a bit. See how that brown helped it? Yeah. Took it out of that cartoon space. I'm a very bright color. It's like I like using highly saturated colors and things. And notice that my brush stroke is about making plant shapes, isn't it? Yeah. It's about the flow of the overall bush. And the reason I wanted to get into the CAD here is because I didn't use it very much in her green. So even though I'm green on green on green, I'm still getting a wonderful layer. Now I'm going to get right into my Indian yellow and my titanium white. And I'm going to just make sure that again, this side is very in the light. So that's what we're trying to say. Going all in the light. Lots of little stocks of things. All right. So how are we doing? All right. Lit, lit. A little bit back, maybe lit a little bit more here. That's what you got to look for is, is it lit? Is it lit where I need it to be lit? Would any part of this catch a little sunlight is what I'm asking. I'm going to rinse, rinse, rinse super clean. If I need to get fresh water, this is a great time to get it. And I'm going to take a little of my quinacridone and I'm going to mix a smidge of my Doc's Purple to it. And some of my zinc. And I'm going to just enjoy adding these little flowers to this space much more clearly. Look at this. Little bits of these loose little tops of the sprig flowers, aren't they? Yeah. How are we doing? Doing good. I like it. I like it too, which is good because like we hanging in on our wall. <laughs> One way or another. So, you no. Know, when when uh, Caitlin was asking about when you're painting on these uh, on these panels, the yes. artist panels. Do you worry about the edges, and do you do you need to paint them? Do you seal them, or is it just look at this edge? What do you paint? Nothing to paint here. This is for framing. You, you don't have to do a thing about this. I mean, naturally, your brush is probably going to get some paint on it, and you wouldn't want to leave like a quarter inch salvage edge here. So you paint to the edge, but you don't have another thing to do, right? I'm going to get some more purple on here, and I'm actually going to get some blue. And get right into my zinc. And then here I'm going to cool these down. Look at that. Oh, it's a blue. They feel blue, don't they? So 
So yeah, you don't have to, this is about like framing and you can click this into a frame anytime you need to. You don't really have to worry about that. I grabbed a little quinacridone, I'm getting a little zinc. So that I've got these cool flowers. But they're not standing out as completely unique in the space. Look at this. All right, that's pretty, pretty awesome sawsome. Rinse out. I'm going to take a little of the CAD and my quinacridone and my white. Sure, I've got some highlights on some of these flowers that I need. Right? How are we doing? Let's see. Do we have our values? Are we happy? Let's see. I feel like I'm pretty happy. I feel like we captured spring. I think this I, is where I'm at with this. I'm ready to sign a girl. Spring. I feel like she's a great place. I'm yeah. I would proudly post her. I'm really thrilled with her. I yes. hope you guys are liking the weirdness of this journey. They love it. This is amazing. Everybody just thought this was so, so good. So next month is going to get even weirder. There's going to be fairies and there's going to be an elf. And there's probably going to be a unicorn. So get ready to really change it up. <laughs> yes. Oh, and it's all going to be in bloom. Like we're going to use some whole cool like separate references. So hopefully at the end of this, you're like, you're coming through this saying, you know what? I'm really starting to see how the reference is about lighting is maybe about the way objects take up space, but not as much about something that I just have to duplicate, you know, uh, that I'm chained to that I can't ever deviate from this whole year. We're going to start with our references, but then we're going to go pow, some other direction. But that collection that you guys are building, these 12 paintings, they're going to change everything for you in art. So I think you're going to love the journey. Let's sign up. All right. Let's sign her up. I'm going to go gold. <laughs> I am. Because it fits in and it's weirdly kind of diminished, but yet you still really see it. It looks really nice. Doesn't it? Right it there. So nice. Sign it with the gold paint. Oh, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. I'm going to see you for the gorgeous little spring piggy tomorrow. And then we've got some really fun paintings this weekend. I want to see you guys at the easel really soon. Bye-bye.